today, the kids are essentially learning about the process of creativity or creative thinking. And the end goal, the end product is to help them understand what is this thing called the big idea. And we hear this term thrown around a lot in advertising, oh, the big idea, it's all about the big idea. So how do you come up with the big idea? So one of the activities is a simple exercise and it's something we call divergent thinking. Right? So we give them a short amount of time, two minutes, and the moment we change the parameters, we change the limitations, the number of ideas increases tenfold, twentyfold. Right? And so that's essentially divergent thinking, thinking out of the box. Hello everybody, okay, today's lesson is about generating ideas, big ideas. So we're doing about like the definition and discussion about big ideas and how to get it. So currently we're doing a project on getting a product and how to sell that product. Okay, that's all. Bye! Too many cooks for the brawl. So all of us uh, have different ideas, so I guess I don't know. Hopefully, it works out. If it doesn't, then just have to do with it. The big idea is not some mythical creature in the far off land. It's something that's achievable. There is a process that you can go through in order to come up with this creative idea. And uh, we hope that they will also understand that the creative idea is not just creative in nature but it's actually problem solving and it's also a very clear message. So today there was a presentation about describing a big ideas. Stuff big. Like that. <laughs> big and like this burger. <laughs> We're having lunches at Wendy's. So we're excited right now, but also hungry. I, I like that uh, logic and magic should work together to find your balance because it's not always about the big idea. It's sometimes you, you need to be logic and like look at the business side of it, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So far, I only got like six marbles in it. I do not have any white marble yet, maybe because I'm not a nice person. I guess so. Not now, later. Well, the apprentices today have to work on the new Sony S tablet. The brief is about creating an awareness campaign that is uh, supposed to last for a month. So they all had a uh, chance to work around the tablet and uh, some of them are now working on creating a viral campaign while some of them are creating flash mobs. So the main task is the big idea and where would you put that big idea? Would you put it on radio? Would you put it on TV? Would you put it on social network? Etc. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, basically we have to come up with a, with a big idea and then we'll be judged on our presentation and our teamwork. Rational which, choice. Come on, look at our team. Let me close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. 35 minutes to go. Oh my God, we're, we're uh, half hour yes, only. We just got the idea, but we are doing the PowerPoint and I don't know if... But I think we can make it. It's half an half hour. Of the entire exercise or campaign, is aimed at producing skills in coming up with big ideas. Big ideas that would uh, reflect on the uh, positioning of the product. These skills will be acquired by the participants and demonstrated through their presentations. Of course, uh, it would have to be a unique and creative presentation on top of everything else.
Uh, my name is Kevin Peterson. I am a content director with Freevon. Today I talked to the participants about um, the media industry here in Malaysia. I'm uh, just explaining to them about the different types of media you have available at your disposal, um, whether it's like online or print or out of home or you know, broadcast media. But which, which media would you select for your audience? How do you know what demographics to look for? Uh, how do you target? How do you measure? And what's the best way to get your message across for your clients? Met someone like you who could make me feel so young and a fool. Right, so my takeaway from the talk to the participants today would be to A, know your media. Always know the media which you are looking at. Know what it's about, know who it reaches, know its target demographic, know its measurement levels. Always know your media. Very important. Two would be to know your target demographic, know who you're particular, who you're talking to, who you want to get your message across to. And three is to forget yourself. Put yourself in your client's shoes. You gotta remember that your experiences don't shape the world. You're trying to talk to your brand, to your, to your client. So always keep in mind who your client is, who your customer is, your end client is. Those are the most important things you need to know. It's lighter, you know, you can like throw it up in the air, literally. Sunshine, shining in my face, clouds puffy, to less for my taste. To summarize this, um, like, like we have said before, it's a total user experience that shows the best out of the Sony tablet. My body's feeling weak. Take your time. I'm wanting you to imagine, just imagine you're in a train, you're public coming from your work, suddenly you're seeing a group of people using Tetra S. It's okay, it's alright, we're gonna have some fun tonight, yeah. Chase all your troubles away. So basically what our big idea is, um, I'm doing what to So um, with Sony Tetra S. Watching the trail blaze by I can wait The second's gonna be my friend Overall, I think they are pretty creative I'm very glad to hear so much of ideas from them It was so fun, they, uh, the, everyone looks like a, they really love the tablet I'm actually quite impressed uh, by some of them, their presentation because it is on par with some of the agencies so I believe we have a decision now. And the winner of the Sony Tablet Task is group number one. We have decided on group one because I think they cover the most of the criteria, especially the creativity part the media part, their group work, as well as the presentation. I think they presented it quite well. We love you, Sonny!